Have you ever wondered how long you could stay in the sky without touching the ground? It's a question that has captivated the human imagination for centuries. The marvel of human flight, the triumph of ascending high above the clouds, and the thrill of soaring through the sky is something that has always fascinated us. In the early days, humans gazed at birds with envy, longing to emulate their freedom and mobility. The desire to reach further and further distances, to explore the unknown, has been a driving force behind our evolution. Overcoming the challenges of gravity and the elements, we embarked on a journey that would change the course of history. The Wright brothers' first flight was a monumental step in this journey. That first leap into the air spanning a mere 120 feet was a testament to human ingenuity and determination. And yet, it was just the beginning. From the Wright brothers' first flight, we have come a long way, haven't we? The first long-haul flight was not as long as you might think. It was the year 1921, an era when aviation was still in its infancy. The start of a journey that would revolutionize travel as we know it began with a flight from London to Karachi. The aircraft was a Handley Page, a British invention, and the route was operated by the pioneering airline Imperial Airways. Now I know what you're thinking. London to Karachi doesn't sound like a long haul by today's standards, does it? But back then, it was an epic journey, a leap towards the unknown, a step into a future where the world would be more connected than ever before. This flight was no easy feat. It was a journey filled with difficulties and challenges. The aircraft had to navigate through uncharted territories, dealing with unpredictable weather patterns and limited navigation technology. There were no in-flight meals, no comfy seats, and certainly no in-flight entertainment. Passengers were exposed to the elements with the wind whipping through the open cockpit. Can you imagine that? The journey was not measured in hours, but in days. Yes, you heard that right. Days. It took over seven days to travel from London to Karachi, with several stops along the way for refueling and maintenance. Compare that to today, when the same journey can be completed in less than eight hours. It's quite something, isn't it? The inception of long-haul flights was a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. It was a bold step, one that opened up a world of possibilities. It was the start of an era where distances became irrelevant, where the world became a smaller, more accessible place. And so, the next time you find yourself on a long-haul flight, reclining in your comfortable seat, sipping on your drink, watching a movie, or simply catching up on some sleep, spare a thought for those early pioneers. For without their daring and determination, we would not be where we are today. Imagine, a flight that took days now takes only a few hours. As technology improved, so did the duration of flights. This statement is as true as it is simple. The evolution of long-haul flights is a testament to the relentless pursuit of human ingenuity and the sheer will to push boundaries. Our journey through time takes us first to the mid-20th century. The introduction of jet engines marked a significant turning point in aviation history. These powerful machines, with their ability to propel aircraft at high speeds, significantly reduced travel times, enabling flights to cover greater distances non-stop. The de Havilland Comet, the world's first commercial jetliner, took to the skies in the early 1950s, heralding a new era of air travel. As we moved through the decades, the technological advancements in aviation continued at an astonishing pace. The 60s and 70s saw the rise of larger planes, notably the Boeing 747, affectionately known as the Jumbo Jet. With its distinctive hump and four-engine layout, the 747 boasted an impressive capacity capable of carrying hundreds of passengers over vast distances. It was a game-changer, making long-haul flights more accessible and affordable. The evolution didn't stop there. The late 20th and early 21st centuries brought forth a new breed of aircraft designed specifically for ultra-long-haul flights. The Airbus A350 and Boeing 787 Dreamliner, with their advanced aerodynamics, 
fuel-efficient engines, and enhanced passenger comfort features have redefined what's possible in long-haul travel. This evolution of long-haul flights is a story of continual innovation, of overcoming challenges, of shrinking our vast world. It's a story of remarkable machines, each one standing on the shoulders of its predecessors, reaching further, flying longer. And so, the stage was set for the longest flight in history. With technology advancing at a breakneck speed, one can only wonder what the future holds for long-haul flights. But for now, let's turn our attention to the present, to the flight that holds the current record for the longest non-stop journey in the world. The current longest flight in the world is quite a journey. Let's embark on this voyage, shall we? The record for the longest commercial flight currently belongs to Singapore Airlines. Their flight SQ-22 operates from the metropolis of Singapore to the bustling city of New York. Now, this isn't any ordinary city-to-city -city hop. This flight covers a staggering distance of approximately 9,534 miles. Try wrapping your mind around that. To make this colossal journey possible, the aircraft of choice is the ultra-long-range Airbus A3500. This marvel of aviation is equipped with the latest technology and designed for maximum fuel efficiency, all to make this lengthy journey not just possible, but comfortable and sustainable. Now, brace yourself for the duration of this journey. The flight from Singapore to New York clocks in at over 18 hours. Yes, you heard that right. Over 18 hours of non-stop flying. To put that into perspective, you could watch the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy and still have time to spare for a couple of sitcom episodes. But don't worry about being cooped up for such a long time. The aircraft is designed to enhance passenger comfort. The cabin pressure is set to feel like a relatively low altitude, which reduces jet lag. The lighting is designed to help passengers adjust to new time zones. And the cabins have higher ceilings, wider seats and aisles, and larger windows. All of this combines to provide a more relaxed travel experience. And let's not forget the onboard amenities. From a selection of gourmet meals to an extensive entertainment system, everything is designed to keep passengers engaged, satiated, and comfortable throughout the journey. So, there you have it. A flight that's more of a marathon than a sprint, from the heart of Asia to the city that never sleeps, all without a single layover. A non-stop journey of over 18 hours, now that's quite a flight. But where do we go from here? That's the question on everyone's mind as we gaze into the horizon of long-haul flights. Could they become even longer with the advancement of technology? Undoubtedly, the future of long-haul flights is a fascinating prospect. Technology is progressing at a rapid pace and with it, the capacities of our aircrafts. Innovations are continuously being made in fuel efficiency, aerodynamics and engine design, making it more than possible for flights to cover even greater distances. Imagine boarding a plane in Sydney and stepping off in London, a journey of over 20,000 kilometers without a single stopover. This may sound like science fiction, but it's a reality we could be approaching. The aviation industry is already experimenting with ultra-long-haul flights that could make this possible. However, with great power comes great responsibility. As these flights become longer and more frequent, there will be inevitable impacts on our environment. The aviation industry contributes significantly to global carbon emissions, and this is a factor that cannot be ignored. To combat this, scientists and engineers are delving into the realm of sustainable aviation fuels and electrically powered aircrafts. The goal? To make long-haul flights more eco-friendly without compromising on their range. And let's not forget the effect on the economy. Longer flights could mean more tourism, more business opportunities, and a more connected world. But they could also mean higher costs for airlines and potentially for passengers. It's a delicate balance that needs to be struck. In the end, the future of long-haul flights is not just about how far we can go, but also about how we get there. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible 
while also respecting the boundaries of our planet. It's about connecting people and places in a way that's sustainable and responsible. As we look to the future, the sky really is the limit. The journey of long-haul flights is far from over. In fact, it's just getting started. So, fasten your seatbelts because it's going to be an exciting ride. So, let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We began our journey with the inception of long-haul flights, a marvel of human ingenuity that brought distant corners of the globe within reach. Who can forget the Wright brothers, their vision and courage paving the way for the era of aviation? From there, we delved into the evolution of these flights, charting the course from those early shaky voyages to the smooth and seamless journeys of today. We've seen how technological advances have made it possible to fly longer and further, shrinking our world in the process. We then examined the current longest flight, a testament to our relentless pursuit of progress. Covering more than half the globe in a single trip, it's a feat that would have been unthinkable a century ago. Finally, we peered into the future of long-haul flights, where the boundaries of possibility are constantly being pushed. So next time you board a flight, spare a thought for those early pioneers and marvel at just how far we've come.